collapse here that has happened. Major emergency declared in the Bronx right now, and you're taking live uh, shot right now of, uh, we got some ground video here that is uh, now live here for us right here. So we're taking a live now watch, and uh, you can just see the uh, smoke smoldering here uh, on this block as we're seeing uh, this building. But as uh, soon as that dust set, um, really the smoke settles, we are going to see uh, a part of the building there in the middle uh, that is gone, unfortunately, here. This has been going on for the last about 30 minutes or so here. It was uh, first announced as a two-alarm fire declared there as uh, the major emergency in Bronx, New York City, where a building uh, collapsed upon uh, the FDNY arrival. We're waiting to get more specifics here, but uh, this is just a uh, sad update here, just showing you these buildings in New York City that uh, have been really, uh, really hurt by either fires or now some sort of uh, gas inspection here, gas explosion. And uh, we're working to get the details on just uh, if anybody was injured here as well. But uh, you can see now as it's able to zoom out here and showing more of the scene here as more fire crews are arriving. As you're seeing uh, now, it uh, looks like they are going to be maybe uh, trying to rescue people or uh, put them there uh, to get them better help here. I just want to show you what happened uh, earlier when this was tweeted out by a New York City uh, councilman. Take a look at this. This is what the building looked like when uh, that council member first got onto the scene as well there in the Bronx. And uh, you, you saw that, that the, the building uh, was standing there for a moment there. But now what we are seeing is uh, that it is uh, a good portion of it now is gone here as we're taking you back out live right now and just showing you uh, what is left here. Uh, you can see that middle section chunk unfortunately is gone here and we're working to get other details of uh, some updates here on this uh, gas explosion investigation as firefighter crews continue to respond to the scene that, that caused uh, a home to collapse and uh, we are seeing some reports of uh, possible injuries as well we'll be waiting on uh, FDNY to give us some specifics on that. We're sure that there will be some media availability when they get everything settled and cleared here. But for uh, right now, they're still trying to knock down parts of this fire that you're uh, seeing right now in that middle section of this building that unfortunately uh, is gone right now. And you're taking a uh, big, uh, taking a look here at a huge response there from FDNY in the Bronx right now that continue to... Uh, to try to knock down this fire the best that they can here. Obviously, there will be an investigation coming after this, but first, they got to make sure that they got everybody uh, pulled there safely uh, that they can from this building. And make sure that they got everybody that, uh, that that's accounted for right now uh, that was in the building there at the time. Now, zooming out to see just a better shot there of uh, FDNY members there at the scene as they continue to look on of uh, what may have happened here on this uh, unfortunate situation where uh, a building explosion happened, a fire that ensued. And some reports there that it was a gas explosion. We'll be waiting on the uh, FDNY to make that call there as well. But... Uh, as soon as FDNY arrived there at the scene, they continued to work uh, this uh, fire, dousing it uh, with water, as you can see that it continues to do so uh, right now. And uh, they're doing a great job because you're seeing uh, not so much smoke anymore. Let's go back to that video that the New York City Council member, uh, Rafael Salamanca, was able uh, to put out there as he got to the scene there. And you could see that the really the smoke was really pumping out of the building there. And uh, that's when uh, uh, the council member first got to the scene there, probably not too, uh, 
not too much after uh, this explosion that happened here. Let's take it back out live right here on Live Now from Fox as you're seeing uh, more of uh, the impact here of this building explosion now that the smoke as is not as prevalent right now and you're seeing uh, ladders up there as well trying to maybe get other uh, people out there that were in those buildings to the right and left of this explosion but think about the sound that uh, you must have made for the people that were living inside of this building and, and the uh, the terror that they must have felt and wondering what is happening it must have felt like a, either a freight train or a huge uh, lightning bolt just coming and ripping uh, through There you go, ladder truck 31 right there, part of FDNY, as you got the two firefighters there on the ladder, just looking at uh, the damage that has happened here. And you can see uh, the widespread damage coming from this building explosion. So what we do here on Live Down from Fox, if it's uh, happening uh, in the now, it's a good chance it's happening on Live Now from Fox is we try to really bring you the coverage here from across the country. And we just show it to you raw as we are getting it uh, into our newsroom. We pump it right out to you uh, in real time. And we try to get the info at, at the same time and uh, give you... Uh, some information to go along with these uh, breaking news aspects. We're hoping that in a little bit we'll be getting uh, some updates from FDNY as uh, to where this investigation is heading here. But uh, it has not been a good month for uh, buildings in New York, especially in the Bronx, when we were talking about earlier this month, month with that uh, horrific apartment fire that killed many and now we're we're looking at a scene here we don't know just how many people were injured how many people were inside the building you can see you got a fire a couple firefighters now on the roof here of that building as well inspecting it uh, from the top uh, down right now so there is a lot going on here in this uh, active uh, that will turn into an uh, active investigation once all the smoke settles and looks like they have uh, at the right now stopped uh, putting water here on these uh, f uh, on this fire here but you can see now more smoke coming up here again if you're just joining us here on live down from Vox, we appreciate you joining us here this is how we uh, first uh, got wind here of this breaking news it came from new york city council member rafael salamanca tweeting this out video out just showing the damage that uh, he was is happening in his district and alerting others uh, of what was happening now we'll take you back out live here to just show you uh, fdny crews on the scene that, that continue uh, to work this this uh, building collapse and explosion here as it's uh, been a very, very busy month for them as well as it's going to be a busy day when this is all said and done. So as soon as we get more information uh, with this breaking news element, of course, we will bring it to you right here on Live Now from Fox. You can see you got Con Edison coming uh, there as well. Uh, as it is being reported there that a possible building uh, gas explosion caused this building uh, to partially collapse there. We'll keep an eye on all of the aspects here of this breaking news and bring you the very latest as it comes into our newsroom right